Each year, Belron employees come together for the London Triathlon to raise money for Africa to Kun, a charitable organization based in South Africa. Over the years, Belron has donated over 3 million euros to the charity, and 2011 marked the 10th anniversary of the company raising money in this way. Well, a triathlon's come to represent a lot of different things to me. When I first started doing them over 10 years ago, it was about the, uh, the sport, but it's come to mean so much more. It's about giving back very much, uh, one of our key things that we, we, we do. Uh, so giving back to the community in South Africa, uh, and certainly it's about uh, the, the, the fantastic Belron people we have all over the world. 10 years ago, it was, uh, I would say it was pretty rough because uh, there was a high risk of crime and a high drug rate. So in 2000, 2002, motivated to raise money for Africa to Kun, the Belron Triathlon was born. There are only a really a, a small number of us, uh, and um, nobody quite knew how it was going to work out, and there were a lot of nervous people who'd never really done triathlons before. But that was so good that we then said, well, okay, let's now really start recruiting. And we started talking about it in the business, and then it's just grown from there. The second year of the triathlon was the real start of something bigger. 60 people took part, and 40,000 euros was raised, which meant eight cooks could be supported by Belron to provide daily nutritious meals to families in Orange Farm, Deep Sloot and Alexandra. They do a good job in the community they were living in because uh, we have a lot of people who are unemployed, people who go home and sleep starving, but they changed all of it. We're feeding thousands of people a day, even just in one township such as Orange Farm. To give you some idea, it costs 50p um, to give a nutritious meal to a child. The following year, the triathlon and fundraising continued with 127 competitors taking part from 12 countries. Belron was beginning to set the mark for other corporate entries. Thanks to the money raised, Africa to Kern was able to train 10 local community members to provide medical care and family support in homes where there are sick family members or chronic lack of resources. Together, they provided regular support to 150 beneficiaries, many of whom were AIDS orphans who were in desperate need of care and discipline to prevent them from resorting to crime in order to survive. In 2005, fundraising raised from the 220 people who took part in the triathlon in this year enabled significant upgrades to the community center in Delft, including the purchase of equipment for the computer center and soup kitchen, and continued the support of the successful home-based care program in Orange Farm. It's about the community and building uh, community centers, putting in sustainable programs. That means it's not handouts, it's about training, it's about making sure that kids can develop from the creche to the school to the after-school clubs to the youth workers and then to give back again into the community to 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 help finance caregivers people who are community people but who are caring for sick people in the townships over 186,000 euros was raised by the 350 Belron employees taking part in the triathlon in 2006 the money raised in 2007 meant the renovation of a building for use as a creche for 120 children and fully equip it with educational materials, toys and medical supplies for a sick bay. For the first time, Africa Tukun was able to pay an allowance to 120 home-based caregivers and 10 nurses who were previously working as volunteers. We train caregivers who are from the local communities themselves and they're often beneficiaries of the programmes as as well. We identify them and train them to be able to go out into the communities and provide a health care and support service to vulnerable children and their families. The triathlon continued to grow in 2008, with 560 of the Belron family taking part from 13 countries, raising over 365,000 euros. This provided significant funding to support and care for orphans and vulnerable children in three areas, home-based care, early childhood development and youth development. Since 2008, these projects have provided opportunities for young people to develop within the youth programme and to become future group leaders. 
Hauhelo Kubaye is a volunteer at one of the OVC centers. Uh, Africa to couldn't build a huge building and then there's a, a huge ground upstairs. The children go up there after school, we train them and they play. So it's like a place for them to play because the streets are not safe. We give them food as well. So we like take care of them for that part of the day and then we let them go later on. We have more disadvantaged uh, kids. So they go there in the morning. Some of them go there in the morning for breakfast. So for the, it's a huge, it, it makes a huge difference. It's like, it's like home for most kids. With another 490,000 euros raised in 2009, a regular feature of the triathlon was the chance for the Belron family to meet and compete against some of the youth workers from Africa to Kun. For me, it was the first time I actually took a team out for triathlon and the number of people that Belron came, came through, uh, it, it blew my mind. I think the youth leaders are really important because they personify here on the ground in London what we're actually trying to achieve. We're using sports to teach the young people and children in South Africa life skills. So all this process here, it's about that life skills. I was nervous uh, before I, I had to run, but since I've run with Belron, I, I, I felt like I can always reach whatever that I want to reach. I can go as far as, as I want to go. If you patient and if you go out there and make things happen, you can get whatever you want in life. So I think, it took, it took going to London for me to realize that. It makes me feel proud first, very proud of myself and, 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 and I feel grateful. I, feel, I just feel grateful being here and, and representing the people back there. So wherever they are, they are rooting for me, I know. Yeah. We again exceeded all of our expectations and you know, we had, I don't know, seven or eight hundred people and we raised nearly 700,000 euros. Helped in part by the money raised in the same year's triathlon, the Orphans and Vulnerable Children's Centre was opened. Now that centre has libraries, computer centres, classrooms and an enormous sports hall, which is the first and only of its kind in the community. Now we have a cycling project where we take all the people who are just sitting at home doing drugs and crime. And they're now doing the focusing the, the energy on a good thing. And 2011, the biggest year yet for the Belron Triathlon. This year is clearly a, a big milestone for us. A thousand people, a million euros raised. A million euros will fund all of our child and youth development programmes across five townships. So what's next for the Belron Triathlon? Be a little bit creative, a little bit flexible, but uh, never stop doing it. Yeah, it's too important. You know, I'm just filled with with so much pride about the work that we we and and, and, and people in Belron have done, and it's not just this year, but over over the ten years. Uh, I'm proud. Uh, about how people have taken their health seriously, fitness seriously and, and, and done that. And I'm really proud in terms of, I mean, you see the spirit, uh, the engagement, people meeting old friends every year. Uh, and most importantly, I'm proud that we are making such a difference for so many kids in South Africa. And it's humbling to think that with, without this, I don't know where they would be. And so I couldn't be happier. The Belron Triathlon and Africa to come. Together, we make a difference.